Hi everyone, it's Deborah at Heat Transfer Source. And for some reason I woke up this morning and thought it might be fun to do the same simple project, but one on the Cricut Explorer Air 2 and the Silhouette Cameo 3. So in this tutorial, you'll see how to do this image. It says, I work hard so my dog can live the dream and put it on a glass and I show you how to get it even on the glass. And I made this with the silhouette and then with our blank stainless mug that I use for coffee. I love it for coffee. It keeps it hot for a long time. I made this on the Cricut. Same image, says the same thing, but I just thought it'd be fun to compare the two and how you do it. So we are using adhesive vinyl, of course, because they're hard, flat services. And we sell um, a lot of adhesive vinyl. It's our own premium vinyl. We carry it in spectrum, a lot of different colors of spectrum. We carry it in matte, tons of colors of matte. And some of our matte has kind of a sheen to it. It's really quite beautiful. And then of course we do the fun holograms, rainbows and bubbles and all kinds of stuff. We have some great colors, lots of it on the website. I'll put links to all that below. But for this project, I used brown, black, and white because that's what I thought would show up on these. So if you like this tutorial, please give us a big thumbs up and like and share it with your friends or in other groups. Let's get started. To begin our project, we're going into Google Images and I'm going to search Dog Bone PNG. Hey, sorry for the interruption, but if you like what you're watching, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and ring the bell to be notified of all new tutorials. And here is a cute, simple image that we're going to use. And I'm going to save the image as dog p n g. And I'm going to save it in downloads. Now we're going into silhouette. And I'm going up to the left corner to open a file. Let's see if I can find this dog png there we go and we're going to open him up now i'm going to duplicate him because i always do then we're going into the trace panel which is this one it kind of looks like a butterfly to me we're going to choose trace area. Select our trace area and then trace and detach. So that detaches that, which we'll get rid of. It detaches the bone which I'm going to make white. And this part of the dog, I'm going to make brown. I'm going to make them a lighter brown so I can. And I'm going to group that part. So now I have my dog and his bone. Okay, now we're going to do our copy. So we're going to go into the text box. And I'm going to duplicate this so I have separate lines to work with. I'm going to select it and look at some type. OK, 
Okay, that's Comic Sans MS. I like that. I have the copy in different lines so I can manipulate it, give myself a, li a little bit of space. That looks good. Then I can bring my dog down here. Get him sized and his bone. All right, I think everything's to size, so I'm going to move the pup and the bone over here. And I'm going to group this so it all acts as one piece. So now I have three different elements that I'm going to cut. All right, I have cut this super simple image on the silhouette. I haven't used the silhouette for a long time. This was my test cut, which came out well. And this is our HTS adhesive vinyl. And it was on, I put the cut on Oracle 651. Got to do this slowly because I want to make sure you're not, whoops, you're not lifting any of the letters you might need, like that one. We'll deal with you in just a second. Boy, this weeds so easily. Okay, we're going to take them off the mat because the mat, of course, is sticky. We're going to roll it gently off the mat. I have my lint roller down here to receive the weeded bits. There's lots of things you can use for this. I just happen to like this, so I bought several lint rollers. But you can also use painter's tape wrapped around your hand. You can use an empty plastic Clorox can. Now I can see that I lost my little period at the end, so I'm going to stick that back through. Here's some transfer tape. Okay, we're going to burnish the copy onto the sticky part of the transfer tape, and then we can carefully remove that and set it aside. We're gonna do the same thing for the other two images. Okay, to apply our image, I have put some coffee that I'm drinking into this cup and that will give me a straight line, a guideline. I have some awesome from the Dollar Tree. I'm just going to clean my glass and don't worry, I'm not gonna drink out of it yet. So I wanna clean the area, clean and dry the area where the application is going. 
and that gives me a guideline to get my copy straight. That looks great. So I'm just going to burnish it with my thumbs and you don't want any wrinkles in it, obviously. And I'm gonna get rid of the coffee so we can actually see it. I see where this little eye has moved, so I'm going to move it back. I've trimmed my dog, so we're going to put her here. trim the little bone. Okay, then I'm just going to go back over. I work hard so my dog can live the dream. I am uploading this little image into my Cricut Design Space and we're going to make him into a, easily make him into a SVG. We're going to save him as a cut file and then upload him into Design Space. Easy peasy. Now, just for the heck of it, I always duplicate what I have just in case. And once again, I go into the left side rail and choose text, type in my copy, and I choose Arial Rounded MT Bold on the Cricut, and I duplicate the lines again so they're easy to manipulate. I want to make, I want to separate this bone and make it a different color on the dog. So I'm going to go into contour and I'm going to hide all the contours and it will do that, but one has to stay unhidden. So I'm going to make the bone unhidden and hide the others and duplicate that. So that'll be just my bone and I'm just duplicating these as backups. Okay, now I'm going to do the same thing to him again. I'm going to put him into contour and I'm going to hide everything. But really, I only want the bone hidden. Okay, and we only need one of these, so it's in gray up here. I'm going to hide it. Now let's get him down to size. We're going to slip him right in here. And I'm going to turn his little bone, make it a little bit smaller. Put it right there. I work hard so my dog can live the dream. You'll notice that I have two extra periods at the end of this copy just in case I lose another one this time. But before I apply it, I'll just cut those two periods off the transfer tape. 
and we're going to attach that. We'll be in black, so let's make our pup in brown and our bone in white. So I want to color sync everything. So I'm going to move the black up into the white and the brown into the white. And this way we can cut it all on one mat. We're going to go in to make it. And we're cutting adhesive. So we do not need to mirror. Okay, here is my stainless steel mug. It's one of our eight ounce blanks. I'm gonna use it for coffee. But first, I'm gonna clean the surface with Awesome. You can also use denatured alcohol or Windex. And this gets rid of any smudges or fingerprints. Now it's ready for application. Okay, we have a little line down here, so that'll give us something straight to work with, but we're just gonna put this on. I always eyeball things. Work from the center out with your thumbs. Again, I'm gonna trim this a little bit just so it's a little easier to handle. <laughs> what do you think? This is gonna be great for my coffee in the morning. I can even take it in the car with me and use it like a sippy cup so it's easy to drink out and doesn't spill. Thanks so much everyone for watching. Bye.